What's going on doll fans? It is your boy Dylan and I already made a video today earlier today on day five of training camp day four on the field uh, but in that video I had you know referenced the interview that Xavier Howard uh, did today and um, up until you know just a little bit ago I, there wasn't any way for me to get the video um, so I wasn't able to put it in my last video I did put in the description box uh, a few links um, two links to a couple articles one of which has the transcript um, of what happened so you can read the questions and the answers because it was kind of difficult to hear the questions um, and then eventually I, I went back and added the link to the YouTube channel, the, the uh, Dolphins official YouTube channel where they uploaded the Xavier and Howard interview. Um, but in this video, I'm actually going to do uh, a breakdown of that video, of that interview right here with you right now. Um, I've already watched it, of course, and I know what, uh, you know, he said and everything, like I said, which is good because uh, I know what the questions are. And uh, it was kind of hard to hear them, so you know, it might be difficult to hear them in the video. Um, I'll go ahead and switch over to that. Uh, so, as you see from the Dolphins official YouTube channel, I'm going to pull up the Xavier Howard interview. I'm going to let him go through, they'll ask the questions, he'll give his answers, and I'm going to do a breakdown of it. So, let's go ahead and get into this. What Uh, real quick because it's super hard to tell that was Omar Kelly asking about his injury He asked, you know, what is the issue and you know, how's it going basically and whatever? So let's see what his answer is. Oh, everything good. Um, you know, I was out there today I felt good. You know, we're taking it day by day They're asking him what is the reaction of his teammates. No, everything been good, man. You know, um, I'm just happy to be here with my teammates. And, you know, we're taking it one day at a time. So that was his reaction to what his teammates have said. Hey, I'm just here. You know, I'm just here with my teammates, taking it one day at a time. And let me just say, he did give a lot of, you know, very just, you know, PC answers or whatever. Just the, the standard vague answers. There were some, I think, clues in this. And... Look, I'm just going to go ahead and say it right now before I continue this. You know, some people look at this and think that it's somehow progress on the situation. And that, you know, look, and, and I've said it, I, I have a slim hope that they do get this sorted out, but I don't think it's going to happen. I'm like 90% sure, um, at least 90% sure that it's going to end up in a trade and it's, it's not going to end up with him playing for the Dolphins. Uh, this season and you know he says it in this video that there's been no progress and stuff like that and a couple of these answers I think are really telling um, so let's go ahead and get to it so that way we can hear what those answers are and then I'll give my explanation well that's up to the Dolphins I'm just here with my teammates and you know enjoying every moment with the teammates okay so you couldn't hear that question um, uh, basically he was asked uh, what does does he feel does he feel better now about a deal getting done um, than he did on Tuesday right so Tuesday was day one of training camp and on day one he obviously went public and requested a trade and you know again if and he'll get to a little bit more uh, specifically but you know we're a week through training camp and there's been no progress so I don't know how people turn no progress into there being progress. I guess, man. I mean, to me, that's just overly optimistic and not accurate. So, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Am I saying that there's no chance that they do it? I just don't think that they're gonna. And in large part, because then, you know, they would have to concede. They would have to concede. They would have to give up their egos and they would have to say, okay, we're going to give you what you want. And, you know, they, you know, some of the sources on the inside say that they really just don't want to set this precedent of having to rework a contract and i think they're fools if they stay on that on that um and so you know we'll see how it plays out but anyway so he just said there uh you know that it's on them it's on them the ball is in their court all right let's continue ask what can miami do to fix this well it's up to them, man. You know, I'm just here. Like I say, I'm with my teammates, and, you know, 
I'm here every day, you know. I'm just here with my teammates. PC answer, I'm here with my teammates. It's in their court. No, I'm always been motivated. That's that's nothing. Um, you they know, asked um, if he, he's motivated. Whoever, you know, every day I'm out here, I'm focused on getting better be at something. So you know, this. being motivated, that's just in me right now. That's been in me. Sir, do they? Does he expect we'll see to when play get there. in the preseason? He says we'll see when we get there. So hold on, hold on. So, so and, and I think that was actually one of the the telling answers in this, right? So he says. Right, because and people think that, you know, look, first of all, let me let me say that I was wrong when I thought that Xavier Howard was going to them expecting to, you know, get paid like the top corner in the league. That actually turned out to not be true. And Xavier Howard actually um, proved that he's he's trying to, you know, come to a win win situation. So I think uh, personally, from all of you know my evaluation of how this has played out, Xavier Howard's been trying to do the right thing, the professional thing, the good thing, you know, whatever the the what a good person would do. And the Dolphins are just saying, yeah, we're just not coming to the table. Um, and uh, you know, so I think this is one of the and so you know the point I'm getting at is right now he's with his injury. You know, he's doing the Jalen Ramsey thing. I mean, let's keep it real. He's holding out without having to get fined, right? So he's not doing a holdout, another a traditional holdout where he stays away from camp, doesn't report to camp, but he came to camp and he did the, and I mean, look, you know, they, they put video out earlier of him getting one-handed, uh, you know, catching the ball one-handed doing individual drills. He looked fine, he looked completely fine. That's because he doesn't really have an injury it's just that, you know, with the way the CBA is written nowadays and so on and so forth, and he doesn't want to get fined, you know, him and the team both don't want him to get hurt, you know, because that would diminish his trade value. You know, it's, just, it, but people think that, and I don't, you know, I can't speak definitively, but I, I feel like, I feel like Xavier Howard could very well sit out of the preseason and even potentially games if it comes to that. Um, it, you know, I mean, if it gets to the season and there's still no progress, like literally if the Dolphins, are, I mean, if they're going to, you know, because look, if, if they, a lot of people say, well, just make him sit and, you know, just because you have his contract rights and so on and so forth. Okay. I mean, that's a dangerous game if you want to play that, because if he does sit and if he doesn't play for you, then it's as good as him. It's just as good as losing him, meaning you don't have him on the field and you don't have him playing at that high level and helping your defense be at that next level. You don't have him there if he does sit out and um, uh, then his trade value diminishes right? The longer that goes on, it's a dangerous, dangerous game. And Klump said something too. I don't want to, I don't want to misquote him, but uh, Jeremy Klump on, on uh, Reason's show the other day had said something too about how uh, this season, the way he's, the way his contract is structured, he actually would get paid. Um, he actually would get paid if he was sitting out because he had an, a lingering issue. Uh, um, uh, injury, excuse me, right? So, um, and he very well could, dude. He could Jalen Ramsey his way through the season. I, I, you know, I don't see that to be an impossibility like a lot of people seem to think. And so, you know, and that's why I think this answer is somewhat telling because they asked him, uh, you know, do you expect to play in the preseason? And he says, well, we'll see when we get there. So to me, if he was to complete that, to me, he would say, well, We'll see when we get there. And with the other things that he said, it's in the Dolphins' court. It's up to them. But there's been no progress. So unless there's progress, well, then I could very well sit. He didn't say all of that, not, you know, all together, but he's saying pieces of it. And, you know, I'm telling you, man, this is, this is, far, from a, uh, this is far from a settled thing. And a lot of Dolphins fans seem to think everything's all good. Everything's all good. We'll see, man. I hope that's the case. But I'm telling you, I'm 90 plus percent sure that this is all going to end. One, with Xavier and Howard for sure not playing for the Dolphins this year. Um, I, I don't think he would. I don't think he will um, if it gets to that point. If they're going to continue to say, hey, we're just not going to come to the table or give you any real serious offers, um, you know, or even entertain the very reasonable requests that he 
he gave them. I mean, if they're just not going to do any of that, I could very, very uh, logically see him sitting out the preseason and even potentially games. So, you know, um, we'll see. All right, let's get to the next one because the next one was good too. Sure, I hope I hope so. It get it get better, you know. Um, it's a process, you know. Um, I'm hearing this and hearing that, but um, nothing getting done right now. So, right now I'm just here, out here every day supporting the team and out here working. Okay, now the reason why I think this answer is pretty telling. I mean, you just heard it. You can rewind the tape, right? And so, what the question was was specifically about the Dolphins, um, and he was vague. He was vague in his answer. He didn't say, you know, he didn't he didn't respond with the, because um, it, the question was is is does he hope that it works out in Miami, right? So let's let's be clear. So uh, the question specifically was is does he hope that it works out in Miami? And you heard him. He didn't specifically say yes. I hope it works out in Miami. Um, but he you know he gave a, a vague. Yeah, I you know I hope that it uh, I hope that it works out. And here, let's even take it back. Let's even let's even listen to it again. Uh, let's see. Um, I think that's probably good. It's a process, you know. Um, hang on, hang on. No, let's see. So it get it get better, you know. Sure, I hope I hope so. It get it get better, you know. Um, it's a process, you know. Um, I'm hearing this and hearing that, but um, nothing getting done right now. So right now I'm just here, out here every day supporting the team and out here working. Yeah, so see, what he said was is, yeah, sure, I hope it gets better, but nothing has been done. So to me, you know, like, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't understand how people look at this and be like, okay, we're now a week through training camp. On day one, he put out his public trade request. We are now officially through the first week of camp. Next week is week two, and that's where pads start coming on. Then the third week of training camp is after that, and but that's also the first preseason game so training camp is almost is going to be almost done by that point and then we're going to get through the preseason games and then the season's going to be here so you know it's you know he didn't say he didn't say yeah uh you know i hope it gets better uh or i hope that um things get sorted out in miami here he just said i hope it gets better i mean what does that mean Right. Like what exactly does that mean? And so then, you know, he went on to continue with some of the PC stuff. I'm just here. I'm with my teammates, you know, etc. But he said he even said in the answer, though, nothing has been done. Nothing has been done. So I don't know where people turn no progress into progress. To me, it just I mean, it doesn't make any damn sense. But OK, whatever. Anyway, let's continue on. I'm here. <laughs> so the, the question was, is if he doesn't get, if he doesn't get a reworked contract and if he also doesn't get traded, then what? And he just said, I'm here and obviously kind of laughed it off. So yeah, I mean, I guess uh, that that's right. I mean, what else? I mean, because what else do you say to that? Right. Uh, I mean, he, he can't control any of that, but see, that's the thing though, right? Is, is, that's what I'm talking about. So does anybody think, though, that if we get to the preseason games or if we get to the regular season, okay, and the Dolphins have not given him what he wants in his contract, but nor have they traded him, what do people expect Xavier Howard's going to do, right? Especially with everything that's happened to this point, with his public trade request, with how he's been you know he's doing the Jalen Ramsey now in training camp right like he got David Cantor fighter's old uh agent and got David Cantor and they've been aggressive like I, you know what I'm saying like I don't understand if the Dolphins continue to refuse him on the contract end because there's only the contract and there's only the trade scenarios right either those are those are one of the two things to solve to to definitively answer this question but if they refuse to give him a contract and if they refuse to trade him what else do you think because think about it if he was you if it was you what would you do what option would you be left with well really if you think about it 
and especially to the comments he made right think back to the comments he made those one of those cryptic messages that he put out on social media i think it was on ig where he said something along the lines of they don't know what they got until you ain't there right so i why do people so what else is he supposed to do if they refuse to budge on either one of your two requests if they're not going to give you your contract and if they're not going to trade you what is he supposed to do the only way he gains power and leverage in that situation is then to sit out i mean it's the it's like the most logical thing in the world to me and it i, I mean i i could be wrong and maybe he chooses not to sit out but i think that the the probability is actually quite high that if we get to the season to the regular season and the dolphins refuse to give him a contract that he uh, you know contract terms that he likes and they refuse to trade him my bet is he sits out because he's got an injury and he jalen ramsey's his way into the season i, I mean I, I that's my guess so you know, let's continue on. You say we talked today? No, I haven't talked to him today. Not at all. Yeah, recently? Yeah, we talked, but it didn't go nowhere. Okay, so just real quick, he, he was asked if he had talked to Brian Flores. Um, he didn't talk to him today, but he had talked to him recently, and nothing went anywhere, right? So again, nothing went anywhere, you know. Nothing went anywhere. No progress. Really Say it again. Really hard to hear. Man, I'm, I'm just here supporting my team, man. You know, uh, that's all that matter. In your statement, you made a reference without meaning it, but you still made a reference. I got it. I tell you, I, I don't even know what that last question was, but it was just another PC. Me and Byron got a great relationship, you know. Um, this one was about all that the media is saying this and saying that about me and Byron. Man, we got a great relationship. We hang out together. Man. It's a business at the end of the day, the NFL business. And, you know, um, when a player makes a business, he's selfish or did he this and that. You know, um, I'm so, he going to support me. I'm support him no matter what. Yeah, so he was, he was asked if he regrets referencing Byron, and he said, Nah, man, they have a great relationship. They hang out, all that stuff. They got each other's back. And, you know, he referenced, yeah, anytime a player takes the business approach, he always gets treated like he's selfish and he's not a team guy, et cetera, et cetera, which is true, man. And that's why, like, I, I mean, I'm sorry. I just, I, I'm, I can't, I can't do that, bro. Like, I can't be on that. And I can't agree with anyone that takes that approach. I'm never going to agree with somebody that says that 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 agrees with the nfl or one of these organizations over the players it's never going to happen because they are billionaires i mean look dude the nfl is a multi-trillion international company right these organizations are worth millions of dollars if not more uh the owners are all billionaires bro like i'm sorry i'm not gonna cry for them i'm not gonna cry for them bro but these players their lives their careers, the lives of their families, the well-being of their families, all that shit is on the line for these guys. So you're never going to hear me fucking cry for the the anybody but the players, bro. I am on their side 100%. And so to me anybody that says, you know, he's being selfish or whatever can fuck off. If I'm just keeping it 100 cuz that's some straight up bullshit. But anyway, he said that, you know, they got to get and look, even Byron Jones said in his interview that just the other day. He knows that X is the fucking uh the the better player and he, you know, he doesn't fucking he doesn't, you know, look at him in some kind of, you know, negative way now because he's trying to take care of himself and and you know all that stuff like I mean, come on, bro. Like I and I was actually glad to hear Byron say that because it's the truth. It's the truth. Xavier Howard is clearly the better player by far. And, you know, anyway, so um, let's continue this because we are almost done. He's asked about the stuff that he didn't understand in his contract. You read the statement, so I'm sure you understand it, what it meant. That uh, you read that he was saying that you read the uh, IG statement I put out. Like I said, I'm here. I'm here. Derek knows. Oh, and that was uh, 
that's the end of that let me go ahead and get rid of that uh, and go ahead and just put this back up okay so uh, you know that that was um, just another PC answer to a question about you know it, you know what it just another you know what if you don't get traded kind of question or whatever anyway so look you know at the end of the day again and I, I think I've made it pretty clear I, I think it's I think it's a 90 plus percent probability that he gets traded I just don't see you know Brian Flores and some of these you know in particular Brian Flores you know bypassing his ego but the Dolphins organization as a whole and breaking on this or, or bending when they've proven the entire time even a week later after his trade request that they're not willing to make any substantial progress or, or budge so i just don't see i just don't see how that's gonna change and i think that it's far more likely that he ends up getting traded and if the dolphins were to you know play some stupid childish game of let's see who breaks for you know of chicken and let's you know take this into the season I, I don't want to play that game, man. I don't. I don't. I don't. I really don't. I don't want to play that game. The Dolphins either need to fucking pony up, you know, the cash or trade him and be done with it, man. And stop playing these stupid, egotistical, fucking insane games and just fucking move on with it. Anyway, so that's what I have to say about it. That is the breakdown of the Xavier Howard interview. You saw it for yourself. Um... You know, check out the the links in my previous video because the the Alan Pupar um, uh, article gives you the transcript. So you know, you can actually you pull up the YouTube video for yourself, so you don't have to listen to my commentary. You can just pull up the YouTube video so you can hear Xavier Howard respond to the questions, and then you can just read along with the transcript. So you that that way you're sure about what the questions. Uh, are you just match up the question to the to the correlated corresponding uh, answer and there you have it all right so i hope you guys appreciate my perspective if you do make sure you hit the subscribe button make sure the like button make sure the bell if you want to get the alerts share my channel and videos with your friends and family leave your questions comments and concerns down in the comment section and of course as always follow me on twitter at dylan tartero and with that i am out i'll see y'all soon fins up